How do you identify fractions that are equivalent? For example, is one half equivalent to two fourths? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify equivalent fractions by using fraction models. You remember that when we're talking about fractions, we're talking about equal parts of a whole. Here we have a rectangle that is divided into two equal parts. The rectangle is divided into halves. One out of the two parts is shaded. We can say one half of the rectangle is shaded. Remember when we look at a fraction, the numerator tells us the part that we're thinking of. In this case, one. The denominator tells us the number of total parts in the whole. In this case, we have a total of two equal parts in the whole. A common mistake is thinking just because the numerators or the denominators are not the same, then the fractions are not equivalent. Here we have one-third and two-sixths. We can clearly see that the numerators, the top numbers, are not the same, and the denominators, the bottom numbers, are not the same. However, if we look at a fractional model for each of these fractions, we will see that they both represent the same amount. Therefore, one-third and two-sixths are equivalent. Fractions. Fractions are equivalent if they represent the same amount of space. Let's say we have the fraction one-half. Using a rectangle, if we want to show one half, we would divide the rectangle into two equal parts because the denominator is two. We would then shade one out of the two parts because the numerator is one. Now let's look at that same amount shown in a different way. I will divide this second rectangle into four equal parts. The fraction that now represents the shaded amount is two-fourths. The denominator is 4 because we now have 4 equal parts in this rectangle. The numerator is 2 because 2 out of the 4 equal parts are shaded. 2 fourths is equivalent to 1 half because they represent the same amount. Now let's look at this rectangle again. This time I will divide this third rectangle into 8 equal parts. The fraction that represents the shaded amount is 4 eighths. The denominator is 8 because we now have 8 equal parts in the whole rectangle. The numerator is 4 because 4 of the, out of the 8 equal parts is shaded. 4 eighths is equivalent to 2 fourths and 1 half. We now have three different fractions that all represent the same amount. One half, two fourths, and four eighths are equivalent because they all show the same amount of space. In a problem, it may look like this. I have a pie that is divided into three equal parts, and I eat one part of the pie. Now I have eaten one third of the pie. Let's say you have the same size pie, but it's divided into six equal parts, and you eat two parts of your pie. You will have eaten two-sixths of your pie. Did we eat the same amount? If you said yes, you are right. As you can see, one-third and two-sixths represent the same amount of pie. One-third and two-sixths are equivalent fractions because they both represent the same amount of space. In this lesson, you have learned how to identify equivalent fractions by using fraction models.